Sidney Crosby is still one of the best hockey players in the world. Two goals and an assist in last night's game against Buffalo. Top 10 in scoring still. Sidney Crosby is a force at the age of 35. Hockey has only gotten faster and Crosby has found a way to still be one of the best players in the game. Even though McDavid is widely considered the new king of the NHL, Sidney Crosby is still the player you want with the game on his stick. Let's talk about why at 35 years of age, Sidney Crosby has remained one of the most dangerous players in the NHL. First, let's start with his puck protection and edge work. A superstar talent with the heart and work rate of a grinder, Sidney Crosby dominates below the goal line with his skill set. This has benefited Crosby as he's aged and as the game has gotten faster. The best players in the world like McDavid, McKinnon, and McCarr just so happen to be some of the best skaters, not only with their edges, but with their breakaway speed. Sidney Crosby is still a fast player, but he just doesn't possess this game-breaking speed that other younger players have. Instead, he evens the odds by driving the play down low and forcing opponents to play to a style that caters to him. Down lower on the half wall, Crosby doesn't need blazing speed to beat a defender one-on-one. -on -one. Instead, he uses a combination of puck protection and edge work to consistently create separation between himself and the defender. Even when he doesn't have possession, Crosby uses his edge work and strength to win 50-50 puck battles in these mini scrums. Typically, you don't see superstar players play with this type of game on the boards, but that's what has separated Crosby from the competition for so many years. Even on the rush, where speed is usually the weapon of choice, Crosby uses his puck protection and edge work to torch his opponents. Instead of using speed to just flat out beat the defender, he can use his edge work and puck protection to slip checks to either break through the middle or beat a defender out wide. Now the second reason why he can dominate it at this age is because of his unmatched hockey IQ. There are countless examples of Sid playing the game two or even three steps ahead of his competition. But by knowing where and when to be in a certain spot on both sides of the puck, Sid plays the game at an efficiency that allows his game to age perfectly as everyone around him gets faster. Offensively, he knows where he wants to put the puck before it even touches his stick. And defensively, he understands that creating a well-timed turnover generates offense. As seen by this unbelievable effort to keep the puck in against Buffalo, this turnover would eventually lead to a goal for the Penguins. Sid has been the gold standard for how hockey players should model their game for years. And as he gets older, he's showed no signs of slowing down. So my question today is, a little bit hypothetical but a fun debate to have if you needed one goal in a game seven situation would you take Sidney crosby or connor mcdavid let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this breakdown make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel